hello students welcome to my channel engineers academy uh, let's solve this one another problem from the absolute dependent motion and this problem is a little bit tricky since it involves the relative motion between block a and block b right but uh, we will learn how to solve this particular problem so in this problem it is said that the motor at c pulls the cable with an acceleration ac right so the motor at this particular point c has uh, pulls this particular cable with an acceleration of 3t square meter per second square where t is in seconds and the motor at d draws in its cable at uh, 5 meter per second if both motors start at the same instant from rest when d is equal to 3 meters determine first we have to determine the time needed for d equals to 0 right so we have to determine that uh, how much time this block b will uh, take so that the distance between uh, this end of block b and this end of block a will be equal to 0 right uh, but this block a will move in the leftward direction and this block uh, a will move towards the right right so we have to find that time t uh, for which this d the distance between this end of block block a and the distance between this end of block b will become zero and in the second part of this problem we have to find the velocities of block a and b when this occurs right so we have to find the velocities of block a and block b when d is equal to zero so now for this problem we have to define our datum lines we have to define our reference lines right so let's say that uh, the center of both the motors are our datum lines right so let's say that this is my datum line since the center of this motor c is uh, not moving it is fixed right so we will say that this is our data and similarly this will be our second datum so this is also our data now we have to uh, specify our coordinates our position coordinates right so let's say that uh, from here to here this is our sa right this will tell us the position of block a this coordinate will tell us the position of this block a and similarly uh, let's say that from here to here is the uh, position coordinate for block b let's say this is sb so the positive sense of sb is towards the right and the positive sense of sa is towards the left right and let's say that uh, from here to here let's say that this is the width let's say let's say this is the gap between both of these motors right so let's say that this gap is represented by capital w right so now uh, if i write i i need to write two equations right since we have two ropes right so let's say this is rope one right so uh, let's say this is cable one right since the problem says that these are cables so we have to say that this is let's say cable one right so for cable one this will be sa plus sa as well right so we can write that this is two sa and that will be equal to the length of cable 1 right but in this problem uh, the length of the cables are changing right since the motor is pulling the cable right so with respect to time the length of the cable will change in this particular case if the, uh, if the motor is pulling the cable inside then what will happen is that the length will change with respect to time right so this means that the lengths of uh, cable 1 and 2 are not constant they are changing with respect to time so now if i take the derivative of this equation with respect to time then this will be 2 dsa divided by dt and this will be equal to l1 d l1 divided by dt so this will give me 2 va and this will be equal to l1 dot and similarly if i take one another derivative then this will give me uh, acceleration of block a and this will give me l1 double dot right and l1 double dot uh, will be equal to the acceleration of motor c with which it is pulling this particular cable right so 
which is given that a c is equal to 3 t square right. So, the s a the positive direction of s a is towards the left right and the cable the motor is pulling the cable towards the right. So, this means that uh, in our case for our coordinate defined coordinate system a c will be equal to minus 3 t square right and we can say that this is 2 a a right this is 2 a a and l 1 double dot and this will be equal to that a c right. Since the rate of uh, this motor with which it is pulling the cable will be equal to the rate of change of the length of that particular cable right. So, now we can say that 2 a a will be equal to minus 3 t square and similarly if I divide both side of equation by 2 then we can say that a a this is capital a a. So, a a this will be equal to minus 1.5 t square and now if I want to find the velocity in terms of the time right now we have the acceleration in terms of time right. So, now uh, we can say that this acceleration is d v a divided by d t is equal to minus 1.5 t square. So, now if I multiply both side with d t then we will have this equation right and if I integrate this. So, this will give us v a and minus 1.5 this will become t cube divided by 3. So, my uh, 1.5 divided by 3 is 0.5 right. So, we can write that this is 0 0.5 t cube and now if I take uh, if I write this v a in terms of s a. So, it, it will be d s a divided by d t and if I take one another integration then that will give us s a equal to uh, let me write that this will be d s a minus 0 0.5 t cube uh, t cube d t and if we take uh, one another integration. So, this will be s a minus 0 0.5 t raise to the power 4 divided by 4 right. So, from from this we can say that s a minus 0 0.5 divided by 4 is uh, 0 0.25 right. So, this is minus 0 0.25 t 4. So, this is s a in terms of t. Similarly, now for cable 2 we can say that uh, this s b is equal to the length of cable 2 right. So, now if I take the derivative then this will be v b and this will become uh, l 2 dot and if I take one another derivative. So, this will be a b and this will be equal to l 2 double dot. So, now we are given that uh, the motor at d draws the cable at 5 meter per second square right. So, the change in length of cable 2 is 5 meter per second square but uh, the motor is drawing the cable towards the left and towards the right is our positive coordinate of this block b right. So, this means that this will be equal to minus 5 meter per second square right. Here we are given that a d is equal to 5 meter per second square, but since our positive coordinate is towards the right. So, then this will mean that the cable will be drawn towards the left with the 5 meter per second and the left leftwards is indicated by this negative sign right. So, now this is a b. Now, again we can write that this a b is d v b by d t and this is equal to minus 5 and we can integrate this right. So, if I integrate this. So, this will be v b so, this will be equal to minus uh, 5 t and now uh, we can write this v b as d as a divided by d t and this is equal to minus 5 t. So, again if we multiply both side with d t then we can integrate this. This is s v right. So, this will be s b 
and this will be minus 5 t square divided by 2 and this will become minus 2.5 right. So, now this is S B in terms of T and this is S A in terms of T right. From here we can write that S A is minus 0 0.25 T raised to the power 4 this is S A. Now, since in the problem statement uh, we have to find the time for which D will be equal to 0 right. So, we need to have some relationship between S A and S B or the acceleration of block A and, uh, and block B with respect to that d and this d is the uh, relative distance between block a and block b. So, now for that we need to write uh, one another equation right and now let us say that the width of this uh, block a is let us say represented by k right and this k will remain constant right since the width of this block a will will not change right. So, now we need to write one another equation. So, let us say uh, this is the positive motion uh, the positive position direction for uh, towards the right from this particular datum right. So, now I will write an equation if I will move towards the right then I will add uh, that particular coordinate that particular variable and if I will move towards the left. So, then I will subtract it right. So, now let us say if I move from this particular point to this particular point then that will be a s b and then if I move back until this particular point until this particular point right then that will be minus d right. So, so we will be left with this distance. So, S b minus d right. Then I will move uh, from this particular point until this point. So, this this length is the width of this block A. So, I have to write plus k right and then I, I, I will move this distance. So, this distance is this distance is S A right. So, I will write plus S A and this will be equal to the distance between both of these motors right. So, that is equal to W right. So, again this you people can look into this this is S B minus D. So, S B minus D is this small distance right this small distance right. Let us say that this small distance is let us say represented by P. So, S B minus D is P plus this K plus this S A. So, this is equal to W right. So, now we have this equation now I can write uh, this is S B plus S A equals to W minus K plus D right and now if I take the derivative of this equation. So, then that will give us V B plus V A w is constant right. So, the derivative of w will be 0, the derivative of k will be 0 and the derivative of d will be d dot since it since the distance between this end of block a and this end of block b will change with respect to time right. So, we are left with this equation v b plus v a is d dot and similarly if I take one another derivative then this will be a b plus a a and this will be equal to d double dot. Now, we know a b is uh, 5 meter per second square right. So, I will write that this is minus 5 and a a is minus 1.5 t square right. So, minus 1.5 t square and this will be equal to d double dot right. But in the problem statement uh, we need to have an equation in terms of d uh, in terms of s a s b and d since uh, the initial conditions are given uh, in terms of this d and time right. So, we know a b we know a a, but we know we do not know the rate of change of the d right the relative distance between point uh, block a and block b 
right so we do not know the relative acceleration between block a and block b but we are given the relative distances between block a and block b right so now for that we need to establish an equation which will relate s a and s b and d right so s a s b and d we need to have such an equation or we need to have an equation uh, in terms of t and t and d right so that will give us the solution so now if i integrate this whole equation right so if i integrate this with respect to time right so this will be minus 5 dt minus 1.5 t squared dt d double dot dt if i integrate this so this will give me minus 5 t minus 1.5 t raised to the power 3 divided by 3 and this d double dot will become d dot and plus some constant of integration right and minus 1.5 uh, divided by 3 is 0.5 right so this is 0 0.5 t q right now we need to find this constant of integration right so we are given two initial conditions right the first initial condition is that if both motors start at the same instant from rest when d is equal to 3 meters determine the time needed for d equals to 0 so initially both motors uh, starts from rest right so this means that the initial velocities are 0 right so if the initial velocities are 0 then this means that d dot will be also equals to 0 since it is the relative distance between the relative velocities between block a and block b d dot is the velocity right so d dot is the relative velocity between block a and block b if so if motor uh, both motors are at rest initially then what will happen is that the velocities between block a and block b the relative velocity between block a and block b will also be equal to 0 so this means that at t equals to 0 initially d dot will be equal to 0 so now if i put both of these values in this equation then then this will become 0 this will become 0 and this will become 0 so that will give us c equals to 0 right so now we can write this equation as minus 5 t minus 0 0.5 t raised to the power 3 equals to d dot and c equals to 0 right now once again i have to integrate this equation since i need to have an equation in terms of t d or in terms of this right so now if i integrate this again with respect to time so i can write that this is minus 5 t dt minus 0 0.5 t cube dt and d dot dt so if we integrate this so this is minus 5 t square divided by 2 minus 0 0.5 t raised to the power 4 divided by 4 and this will be equal to d dot sorry d dot will become only d plus constant of integration again right so minus 5 divided by 2 is uh, minus 2.5 and 0 0.5 divided by 4 is 0 0.25 right and now when t is equal to 0 if both motors uh, start at the same instant from rest when d is equal to 3 meters right so this means that initially the distance between block a and block b at t equals to 0 is 3 meters right so we are given one another boundary condition that is at t equals to 0 d is equal to 3 meters right so now if i put both of these conditions in this equation so this will become 0 this will become 0 and d will be equal to 3 so we will be left with 0 equal to 3 plus c or we can say that c will be equal to minus 3 right so then we can write this equation is minus 2.5 t square minus 0 0.25 t raised to the power 4 d and c is minus 3 so now this is very important equation this is very important equation right this will give us all the solutions which are required so now if i look into this value this is minus 0 
0.25 t raised to the power 4 right so this is minus 0 0.25 t raised to the power 4 so we can say that this is sa right and here we can see that sb is minus 2.5 t square so this means that this whole term is sb so this is sb plus sa equals to d minus 3 so now we have an equation which involves t and d we have an equation which involves s a s b and d right so now uh, we can use this equation we can use this equation as well right so i will use this time equation right since we are required to determine the time needed right so at in the first part of the question we need to find the time needed for d equals to 0 so now when d equals to 0 in this equation if d is equal to 0 we need to determine that time right so now if i put d equals to 0 in this equation then we will have minus 2.5 t square minus 0 0.25 t raised to the power 4 and this will become 0 minus 3 or uh, we will be left with minus 3 and now if i multiply this whole equation with minus sign so all these sign will become positive this will become positive and now let's say that t square is equal to let's say u right so then we can write this equation as this will become 2.5 u plus 0 0.25 t raised to the power 4 will become u square then this will be 0 0.25 u square equals to 3 or we can rearrange this equation then this will be uh, 0 0.25 u square plus 2.5 u minus 3 equals to 0 so now we have this quadratic equation and we can find the solution of this quadratic equation using the calculator now uh, there i have done one small mistake right so when we integrate this then then this is 0.5 uh, t raised to power 4 divided by 4 so 0.5 divided by 4 is not uh, 0.25 it is 0.125 right remember this is 0 0.125 remember right so this is 0 0.125 and this is also 0 0.125 this is 0 0.125 this is 0.125 and here also this is 0.5 divided by 4 as a is this is 0.125 right and this is also 0.125 so now if we use the calculator to find, uh, to find the solution of this quadratic equation right then this will be we can use this third equation right this quadratic equation so this is 0.125 a b is uh, 2.5 and c is minus 3 so this gives us uh, u equals to 1.136 and the uh, another root is negative right so time cannot be negative so we will use the positive value so now we know that uh, this u is t square right so this is t square this is 1.136 and then we can take the square root the square root of 1.136 gives us 1.07 second right so 1.07 seconds approximately so now at after t equals to 1.07 seconds that d the distance between the relative distance between block a and block b will become zero right so after t equals to 1.07 seconds d will be equal to zero right and now in the second part of the problem we are required to find the velocities of block a and block b so now we know the velocities we know v a this is VA right VA is minus 0 0.5 T cube so now we can write that VA is minus 0 
t cube so minus 0 0.5 t is 1.07 to the power 3 so minus 0 0.5 into 1.07 to the power 3 so this is minus 0 0.6125 0 0.613 meter per second right and similarly vb vb is minus 5t right so i will write vb is minus 5 in into t and minus 5 and t is 1.07 right t is 1.07 second so 1.07 so minus 5 into 1.07 so this is minus 5.35 meter per second so now this is the solution of this particular problem right va is uh, minus 0 0.613 meter per second so this will mean that block a will move towards the the positive pos uh, sense of motion of block A is towards the left, right? So, the minus uh, 0 0.613 velocity means that block A will move towards the right, right? And minus 5.35 meter per second velocity means that block B will move towards the left in the negative sense, right? So, both the blocks will move in the negative sense. The velocity of block B is minus 5.35 meter per second and the velocity of block A is minus 0 0.61. Uh, 613 meter per second right and the time both of these block will take to have this d equals to 0 is 1.07 seconds right so I hope you people would have understood the solution of uh, this real uh, little bit tricky problem kindly subscribe my channel if you people want me to solve such more problems